Hey champions, this is Arian Tyson out of St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm just coming back at you to shoot a video on this uh, uh, dreary and wet uh, Wednesday afternoon here in STL. Um, I'm actually on my way to uh, my niece Brianna's uh, graduation. She's graduated from high school. Um, so proud of her. Um, and uh, I'm I'm just, I'm excited for her because, you know, I remember when I graduated high school back in 2001 and the, uh, the excitement that I felt, um, you know, receiving that diploma crossing the stage, but, you know, she's got there, um, quite differently than I did. And, and one of the things that, you know, happened with her was, um, you know, she made a, she made a choice, um, and she had a child while she was in high school. You know, but nevertheless, she never uh, deter. She never let that deter her from getting uh, getting done what she needed to get done. And uh, not only um, is college uh, paid for for her, um, but that she's near the top of her class um, as a graduate of uh, Gateway High School. You know, so I want to uh, let them know that you know, let her know that I am proud of her. And of course, when she had her child, um, you know, she received, you know, she received a little criticism, you know, but um, one thing that I can say about her was that she um, was comfortable in her own skin. And I want to encourage those that are watching this video, um, those that have big dreams, big goals and big, big aspirations, there is something that you have to do. And that means you have to let go of the 10 man syndrome. And let me preface my comments. Most of us have seen or heard of the story of, of the Wizard of Oz. Okay. You know, we know about Dorothy running into the, the 10 man scarecrow and the lion. You know, these was, you know, those three was looking for a heart, courage, and a brain. And so. When it all boils down to it, when I say you need to let go of the 10 man syndrome, you got to be comfortable in your own skin. You got to you got to know for certain that you're going to be great. You got to know for certain that what you're doing is beneficial and that you're here with a purpose, that you're here to be a blessing to others. That's what it that's what is going to take. You have to because no matter what you do, no matter what people say, someone is going to have something negative to say. Someone is not going to like the decision that you make. Someone's not going to agree with the decision that you decide to make for your life. I mean, you could tell them to kick rocks. You could tell them to, you know, you know, you can, you could, you know, tell them to distance themselves as far as the east is from the west. But let nothing and nobody stop you from making your dreams come true. You know, because as, as I drive through this rain, you know, it reminds me of when I graduated college back in 2007. I had to drive to the, uh, the arena where my graduation was at through the storm and rain. And it was, it was really indicative about indicative of what I went through during my college experience because everything did not go well um it was it was a rough period in my life but I stayed true to who I was and I stayed true to what I was there for I had a strong why and I knew what was necessary for me to accomplish what I need to accomplish and so for those of you who understand that you need to get this done, that you need to get your dreams out and stop making excuses for what you need, to, for what for what you're not doing. Stop making excuses for what you need to get done and just get it done all together. And I challenge you to uh, connect with me. I challenge you to reach out to me. I challenge you to click the link below this video and let's get it done. Because at the end of the day, you don't know how many shots you got, but all I can tell you is you only 
you only miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So it's time for you to start taking some shots. So if you're ready to take that shot and get it done, then click the link below, join the team, and we'll see you on the other side. Peace.